five and six star dittos have entered Scarlet and Violet via these terror raid battles. And these things are gonna be fantastic for breeding. I'll show you why in a minute. But first I wanna show you how to take these things down. It's actually incredibly simple. As long as you're the host, which means if you're playing solo or if you're hosting something online, all you're gonna need is basically any level one Pokemon. For this example, I'm gonna use this Zora from a few weeks ago when we were hunting uh, for shiny Zora. I mean, I'm gonna show you guys how simple this is. Ground type Terra Ditto. And as you can see, we got a decent team here, a decent lineup, and we have our level one Zora. And because we're the host, when this Ditto imposters, it's always gonna imposter into the host Pokemon. And all we're gonna do is click Leer, because we physically cannot hit each other, and it's just that simple. One heavy slam, and it's gone. And now you might as well just throw a Pokeball at it because when you breed Dittos, the Pokeball does not get passed down. So I'm gonna throw my Pokeball at it. Easy mode. And now we'll check this guy out. Uh, we ended up with a Rash Nature with a negative special defense. That's not ideal. So I'm probably gonna want to trade this guy away so that someone might get a decent, semi-decent Masuda, Masuda Ditto. There are plenty more Dittos around the map so I can continue trying to get a better Ditto if I want. There are actually multiple instances of Ditto that you can find while doing these raids. All of them are gonna be five star levels. There's gonna be one that you can get with random, guaranteed five max IVs, which is what I've encountered for the most part. There's an option here at five IVs with a zero attack IV, which is ideal for special attackers, taking less damage from stuff like foul play. There's an option for a zero in speed, which is ideal for trick room Pokemon. And there's an option for a perfect six IV Ditto. All of which are at a 1% encounter rate, which kind of hard to find with the 97% of the random, but totally doable. And the item drops here are pretty much the same across the board. We got a lot of XP candies, some Terra shards, a whole bunch of EV items, which is kind of wonderful. We could get ourselves an Everstone. Basically this whole thing is set up so incredibly well for breeding and a whole bunch of these EV berries or EV reducing berries. So this whole, this whole event is fantastic for anyone who likes to breed Pokemon. I like to breed for Shinies. I'll probably breed for some competitive Pokemon at some point. And I'm definitely going to be grinding this over the next couple days. So I know that this didn't provide any necessarily new information, but if this helped you out at all, please leave a like down below. It really does help me out a lot. Please hit that subscribe button if you guys are indeed new around here. We are still on our way to 1,000 subscribers, and I cannot do it without you. But before you go, YouTube thinks you might like that video up there. I have no idea what it is, but it's mine. It's probably pretty good. Alternatively, can I suggest this video down here? There is also a Samurai raid going on right now, and it's exactly the same as the first time I was here. So if you are having trouble with that and you need some advice, check the video out. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye bye.